Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Adventures with Coyote. Uh -oh! <laughs> yes, as always, we are so grateful to have you join us here today. And guess what we get to do today? Oh, what? What is it? I'm so excited. We get to meet a new friend. Oh, yes, a new friend. I always love meeting new friends. Me too. I always feel so grateful when we get to make new connections and learn about the way that people like to live their lives and the way that they think. Oh, me too, me too. When do we get to go? Are you ready to go now? Oh, yes, let's go. <laughs> hey friends, Coyote and I are so excited to have you here. Oh yes, I couldn't be more. Okay, so off we go. Yay! Off we go, off we go to meet our new friend. Yes, I'm so excited. So today's newest friend is Mousy. Oh, Mousy. Oh, that'll be so lovely to meet her. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And I heard about Mousy from Foxy. Oh, my best friend. Uh-huh. And I thought we might like to pay a little visit. So, are you ready? Yes, let's go meet her. All right. Off we go. Oh, off we go. Off we go to Mousy's. Yes. Okay. Here we are. What a glorious day it is. Oh, and Mousy has such a beautiful little space here in Mama Nature. Oh yes, so lovely. <laughs> Hi Mousy. It is so nice to meet you. My name is Elise and this is Coyote. Oh, hi. It's so nice to meet you. Squeak. Oh my goodness. Is that a coyote? Oh, oh my goodness. I have to, I have to go. What just happened? Hmm. Well, um, I think Mousy saw that you're a coyote. And what do a lot of coyotes do to mice? Oh. They eat them. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure how I feel now. I think I feel a little bit sad that she ran away. And just because of what I look like. I wonder how I can share with her that I'm different, that I don't want to eat her, and that she's safe with me. Hmm. Elise? Do you have any ideas? This is a tricky one, Coyote. Uh-huh. I know how hard it can feel when people make what are called assumptions about us just by what we look like. And that is a natural part of our brains that helps us feel safe and protected. Uh-huh. But not everything is as it seems. That's so true. Sometimes we have to use our clues in what helps us feel safe. And, and what clue do you think could have been a good one for, for Mousy to take a look at? Well, I said hello to her kindly. Mm-hmm, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's a good thought, but sometimes we can't even tell by that, right? Like sometimes, uh-huh, people do say hello kindly, but then 
there are some other thoughts in their minds that we don't know what's going on, right? That is so true. Well, I wonder, do you think that if I keep my body really calm and my energy still, it will help Mousy feel safer? Possibly, but you never know. Sometimes there are people and things in life where they're not always going to resonate with us and they're not always going to believe us or understand us. And that's okay. Oh boy, that's really hard to think about. Yeah, it can be really hard to think about, but Coyote, you have to understand though that that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. Oh, okay. It's just a misunderstanding in Mousy that she's not quite ready to open up to. And that could be from years of needing to run away from other coyotes because they wanted to eat her. Oh, well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So we can move slowly and be really open hearted and minded for Mousy and be really compassionate about her worry and her fear. Okay, can we try again? Yes, let's try again. Mousy, we would really like to try and say hello to you again. Are you feeling safe to come out? No, not quite yet. I'm still very scared. It's, it doesn't feel safe to me. Coyotes always try and eat me. I, I'm not coming out. This is really hard for me because I didn't do anything wrong. But just because I'm a coyote, she's scared. I just have to remember that it doesn't mean anything about me that just because other coyotes scared her and tried to eat her doesn't mean that it has anything to do with anything that I have done. I have to be patient and peaceful and calm and as understanding as I possibly can be. Okay. This doesn't have to do with me. This is Mousy's fear. But you know what? I can't force her to feel a certain way either. So, if she does want to get to know me, great. But I have to be patient. And if she doesn't, that's okay too. Okay, Mousy, we're just here to give you love. Yeah, I don't want to eat you. I just want to get to know you and maybe be your friend. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know if I can believe you. All of the other coyotes that I've ever met have always just wanted to eat me. So I'm sorry, but I am not ready. I'm not ready. It's okay that Mousy's not ready. I will just keep sending her love. I love that coyote. That's a really, really beautiful thought. And I love how you have understood that it's not anything that you have done. It's just Mousy's fear that is living inside of her body that's taking over right now. 
Maybe one day we'll be able to connect with her. That would be lovely. And then she'll see. Coyotes, not all coyotes, want to eat her. Mm -hmm. But until that day, I want you to remember that you don't have to keep trying to push or make her believe any different than she does right now. Uh-huh. And that it doesn't have anything to do with me. That's true. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So in these challenging moments of feeling like somebody doesn't like you or that they're, they're pushing you away, always remember that it doesn't mean anything about who you are inside of your heart and your soul. Everybody comes with their inner sadnesses and then they have to work through the world and figure out the world around them through those memories and those fears. Uh-huh. And we all do that. That is so very true. So in those moments, just continue to remind yourself that everything is okay. That who I am on the inside and in my heart resonates with someone, right? We're not always going to be able to be friends with everyone on this planet. How tiring would that be? Uh-huh, that would. I don't think I could keep up with all those friends. <laughs> That's so true. But we can still send that feeling of love in the direction of that person that isn't ready to connect. Absolutely. So, let's take a deep breath together. Ready? I am lovable. Oh, yes. Mm. Let's say another one. Ready? I am enough. Oh, I love that one too, Coyote. Mm-hmm. Yes. And how about, I am worthy of love and connection with those that desire my connection, right? And I send love to those who don't feel ready to connect. Yes, I love that. Thank you, Elise. <laughs> mm, always. Well, friends, I know this episode might have felt a little bit tricky, but always remember that no matter what happens in life when we meet new people or to try to even connect with people that we already know and you're feeling like they're not open to connecting, just remember it's okay. It's okay to take that step back, to have those separate moments, to be able to breathe and recognize that everybody is just working through this world with all of the feelings and memories that they have stored inside of them. Yes, that's so true. Mm -hmm. And that we can still always send love. And as always, we are so grateful that you have joined us for another episode of Adventures with Coyote. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to share anything with us, please send us, especially Coyote here, uh -huh, a message from the email in the description box below. We love to hear about you and your stories and any ideas that you might have for Coyote episodes in the future. We love you all very, very much. And we can't wait to see you next time. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.